YouTube and this week's tutorial I will be going over the difference between visitors, visits, and page views as well as going through those particular reports here in Adobe Reports and Analytics. So first of all I'm just going to uh, show you in the navigation where we can find those reports. They're considered metrics and they're the kind of most base metrics that uh, you can ever report on uh, in any kind of analytics tool. And we have here, we have visitors, which breaks down. Uh, you can have just absolute unique visitors, or you can actually break them down by hour, day, week, month, quarterly, or yearly. Um, then we have visitors, and we have page views. And uh, I know that not everyone necessarily understands the difference between them, so I just want to kind of give a quick overview over what that means. So first of all, a visitor is a unique individual or basically device that visits your website. So it can actually be, and I tend to, I tend to go by device more than by person because myself as a person, I will visit as a, as a, as a, as a visitor um, the same website, let's say for example Facebook, uh, over different devices. I have two desktop computers, a laptop computer, and a phone, and I I am an individual visitor, but each one of those devices is considered an individual visitor when it visits the website because they each have their own unique IP addresses. So when you think of a visitor or you think of unique visitors, you almost have to think about unique devices that visit the website rather than unique person. Because I, when I visit Facebook, um, basically there's what, three? computers and a, and a mobile phone, so I can be considered four different unique visitors in a single day because I keep visiting um, Facebook over these different devices, and I'm a unique visitor from each one of these devices that I visit from. So, for example, um, that's, that's one thing, even though, I mean, I'm sure that they can trace it back to my login information and they can kind of make it more unique and not all websites have login information so I just wanted to kind of use that as an example um, so keep that in mind when you're thinking about a visitor um, a unique visitor tends to be a unique device rather than a unique person so one person can actually be multiple visitors to your site because your uh, website and, and uh, Adobe doesn't know necessarily that computer A and computer B can both be the same person operating it. Then we have visitors. So you have one unique visitor. So for example, the computer I'm on right now is one unique visitor to a website and I can do uh, multiple visits to that same website, all either within the same day, within the same month, within the same, same year, etc. Although we don't have a breakout uh, like we do with visitors here, uh, in this case the the visits are broken out more by um, the time frame that we've chosen for the report up here in the upper right corner. And then finally, um, for every visit that a visitor makes, they can make multiple page views. Um, obviously, if they only come in and visit one time and view one page and leave, that's considered a bounce rate. And uh, just as a as a, just a quick side note, because there isn't an overall bounce rate report within Adobe Analytics, um, that's basically what a bounce is. If you ever hear about bounces and bounce rates, and I can go into a, a separate tutorial in terms of how to calculate a site-wide bounce rate if you are ever asked to provide a report like that. All right, let's start with visitors, and I'm just going to go ahead and just do unique visitors. That's overall unique visitors, no matter what time frame that you've chosen up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that report. And this is what a visitor report generally looks like. I currently have it uh, set for August, so that's why, um, you know, today is the 27th, so that's why there's no data back in here. I can actually change the date. Uh, and let's say I'm going to go ahead and just do the last 30 days instead and run the report. So that's one of the things you can do within these reports is, is change the dates. Uh, you can configure the graph, and here you have an option between trend line, vertical bar, and area. Um, if I have show trends checked off, that basically shows you know the current month and then the previous uh, four weeks prior. So basically what traffic happened uh, four weeks 
prior to this particular date. So here you can see on August 3rd, I only had three visitors, um, but on July 3rd, I had 17 visitors, so four weeks prior to that. Um, so that, that kind of shows the trend, just so you can kind of do a comparison month over month um, as to how things are trending on your website. All right, so that is um, your your visitor report. And just some quick little interface things here. You can view by day, hour, week, month, quarter, year. Uh, it's broken out by day right now. And if I wanted to break it out by week instead, it would look basically like this. And even though, yeah, and it's the last 30 days, starting with July, the week of July 28th and going forward from there. And so the trend line just kind of changes in that uh, in that way instead. All right, so that is visitors. Now let's go back over here and we'll take a look at the same data in visits. And you'll notice that since I changed it to view by week, it's staying as view by week. Uh, now with my particular website, um, it is primarily a blog and blogs tend to have a very high bounce rate and so my visitor data and my visits data are going to look very very similar um, just because of the fact that I tend to have very few people who view uh, any uh, particular uh, page more than once um, you know with you know I have one visitor each visitor tends to do one visit roughly, you know, perhaps maybe 1.2 visits, etc. Uh, so I don't tend to have a lot of repeat visitors. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and switch this back to day, just to kind of look, that's sort of the default report is the, the by day thing. And very similarly here, um, I had four visits and 17 visits. So you can see here for um, August 3rd and July 3rd, my visits and visitors are practically identical. And for the type of website that I have, that is not unusual. Uh, so you have to kind of keep in mind the type of website you have and how much kind of um, repeat traffic that you're trying to get on your website. I'm really not trying to get repeat traffic. I'm just trying to get people to come and read my blog articles. And so there really isn't a need to get the same people to come back and read. It'd be nice to get the same people to come back and read more blog articles, but um, different people have different needs and different interests, and I write uh, on a variety of web analytics topics, and so not every article appeals to everyone. And lately I've been doing more of these um, blogs and tutorials and things for my videos, posting those to my website instead. And not everyone's interested in the videos either. So, you know, it kind of, uh, it just is the nature of a, a blog type of website. All right, and uh, very same thing here. You can configure the graph, uh, same options here. Obviously you can configure the time frame. You can view by... Um, oh yes, and one of the things I didn't point out before is day of the week. So you can, by default, view all days, but then sometimes you can only view, you can change it so that you only view um, Mondays, and that's it. And so here, this is the trend on uh, Mondays, and you can compare the trend Mondays versus Fridays over the same time period, um, and sometimes that can give you additional insights into your data. Alrighty. So now that I've looked at visitors and we've looked at visits, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into page views. And here um, the, the data obviously should be a little bit different, <laughs> uh, a little bit more. So depending on the day, uh, some days I'll actually have a lot more page views than not. If you look here at, uh, for example, we're going to go back to the August 3rd, July uh, 3rd comparison. So I had four visitors doing four visits on August 3rd and 17 visitors doing 17 visits on July 3rd. Well here you can see I had six page views in August and 26 page views in July. So that means that of those uh, original four visitors um, I had for August 3rd, I had a couple of them at least, or perhaps one, um, I, I haven't broken down and kind of delved into it yet, who visited, uh, sorry, who viewed more than one page. Uh, because otherwise, if they, if they had only viewed one page and left, if all of them did that, then I should only have four page views. 
However, uh, you can see I have six. And then here, the prior month, um, I have 26. So of the 17 people who, vi who were visitors to the site and did 17 visits, so each visitor visited basically one time. But during their visit, um, some of them viewed more than one page, which is why I have 26 page views instead of 17. So I hope that kind of gives you a feel for the difference between a visitor, a visit, and a page view, uh, as well as, you know, just the basics in terms of the reports themselves and, and how they're kind of laid out with the graph. And then you kind of have your raw data, data down here and how that kind of looks as well. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave comments in the uh, comment section below. I'm more than happy to answer questions or send me a private note. Um, I do believe I have contact information in my description as well. So feel free to, uh, to send me a private note either here on YouTube or uh, through any of my contact information I have uh, listed available in the uh, description. All right, thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and if you found it at all useful, please feel free to click the like button down below, and if you aren't yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate a subscription if you want to see more videos like this, and until next Wednesday, take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.